What time is it in the United States? Uh, my time right now is 3 in the afternoon, so 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And for you, it's 1 a.m., right? 1 a.m., yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what time do you have to get up in the morning? Maybe 10 or 9. Oh, okay, not, not too sure. bad. Not too <laughs> early. Good. Okay, guys, welcome to this hour's class. Um, some of you were in last hour's class in which we um, read an article about a new apartment complex, a new co apartment building in Portland, Oregon on the west coast of the United States. And the special thing that um, they were talking about this building was that it's creating a lot of um, parking spaces for bikes. So Portland, Oregon is known as the most bike-friendly city here in the United States because so many people use their bikes um, not just to ride around but to commute to work back and forth from their house to their job. And um, there are lots of awareness, we could say. Uh, there's a consciousness around wanting to use your bike or preferring to use your bike whenever you can instead of your car. Um, so it, it is possible probably in a city like Portland to not use a car or not need a car and you could just use your bike. Um, that is true for some other cities, some other major cities in the United States, but most places in the U.S. you probably still will need a car even if you mostly use your bike. Um, so in this hour I was proposing that we have a conversation about uh, bike transportation, but also transportation in general in your town, in your cities, and in your countries, and then what are your personal preferences and personal opinions about this idea of um, using different types of transportation, kind of like the pros and the cons of all these different ones, which uh, Nihon was bringing up in the chat. Uh, we didn't get to talk about it at all, but maybe we can talk about that um, in this hour. So welcome back Amparo and Graciela and Kervan and Nihan and welcome uh, Rafael. If anybody is out there watching and you want to join the class you do need to be a Verbling um, member and all you need to do is click on the join class button and then you will be able to join the class at any time. If you make a reservation for a class then you can come in the first two minutes of the class and um, redeem it or get it, use it. Um, and then if you come a little bit later, then the join class will be up there for everybody to join. And so you can come at any time. Um, it's nice if you can come to a beginning of a class, then you get the full hour. But if you can't make it to the beginning, then you can always just come and check out the class, see what's going on, and then jump in to the class. Um, at any time, usually that works just fine. You might need to wait a little bit to talk or let other people read first, depending on the type of class that it is. But um, you're always welcome to join the classes. Okay. And so welcome back also to Yuki, my voice. <clears throat> and Atir, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Atir, Hi. where are you from? Can you hear me? I can hear you. That's you. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, guys. So let's see. Nihan, you're saying a pity to Hamid. He's a working guy now, so he needs to get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Nihan, what what time do you start your work? Oh, it depends. Uh, I will oh. just mm, talk Flexible. about it. Flexible. Yes. 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 No cool. No cool. Going on. Going on. Echo. Echo. Yeah, there is yeah, an echo. <laughs> A really long A really echo. Long echo. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I, I, let's see. If everybody kind of mutes themselves, maybe we'll figure out where it's coming from. Now it's okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Um, 
Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Nihon, how, um, how do you get to work? get to work? Oh, can I speak? Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, how do I get to work? Oh yeah, uh, by my car. By my car. But I have to. Okay. Put that headphones away because I hear my voice. I think it, okay. it's okay now. I muted a tear. Oh, maybe not. Okay, go ahead. Mm, I usually uh, go to work uh, with my car, but uh, when I was broke or my boss just didn't want to give me the uh, gas, mm, and uh, I just use uh, transportations uh, like ferry, you know it. Oh. Yes, I take the ferry a lot here in Washington. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. But when they are probably mm -hmm. uh, smoking uh, on ferry, uh, mm -hmm. I, I actually I don't like <laughs> to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes bus, uh, everything. If mm -hmm. I'm in a hurry, I use taxi. But oh. most of all, my car because uh, in the um, during the day, sometimes I have to go somewhere, and. Uh -huh. uh, I need my car, but before uh, this job, uh, I used to. Um, uh, what what can I call? The company just arrange you a bus, uh, and they picked all of the employees. What yeah. What's its name? Um. Usually, we say like the company bus will come. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a private student in Brazil, and he was just telling me that's how he gets to work. Um, the company bus comes around, and you know, it's at his yeah. town, and Pick picks all up the about, employees. Yeah, about in the same he, neighborhood. In the same neighborhood, yeah. He said about eight, eight people or something, and then yeah. So it could be more yeah. like a van. Maybe it's a company van. You know, when when we yeah. say bus, we think of like a big bus. You know, like a city bus or a school bus. But if it's mm -hmm. like a small van, you know, eight people can fit in it, or sometimes you can have a larger van which maybe can have uh, 15 people. Actually, like I live in a really big city, uh, Izmir is yeah. quite big, and um, employees uh, can can stay in different neighborhoods and different uh, countryside, mm -hmm. and uh, the small van could be enough uh, for even if it's a big company because yeah. only four or five employees uh, they it had to to pick in the same neighborhood. Sure. But it was really comfort. But uh, yeah, no, I uh, I didn't use um, bicycle uh, through mm -hmm. the work because of my my clothes because I have oh, to okay. dress mm -hmm. up. Dress up, I, yeah. I couldn't go uh, to work like uh, wearing a jean or sports <laughs> uh, yeah. shoes or something. Yeah, yeah. And simple for me. But I, I, I would be glad to use that kind of thing mm -hmm. uh, to go to work. And it's healthy and in the morning, you know, yeah. but it's impossible for me. Mm hmm. Yeah, sometimes here, depending on the type of work uh, where you're going, some people who bike, you know, especially if they have to bike a longer distance and they're going to get kind of sweaty, you know, they, they definitely um, bring a change of clothes. So they'll wear their biking, commuting clothes or whatever, and then they'll get to their um, place of business, their office or something. And sometimes uh, bigger companies have like a locker room where you can go and take a shower and then oh. change your clothes, but that's for like a big company, not like a small, yeah, small small company, yeah, yeah. yeah. You probably need to take a shower, yeah, and you have to put <laughs> some makeup or something. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> and maybe you can start to work at eleven or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, it all depends on the type of job you're you're going to. Yeah. So, uh, okay, I wanted to uh, say hi to some other people who came in. Saiban and Atir, I didn't really hear from you. And Andrea, hi there. Right hi. now, we, we just started the class, and we just were talking to Nihan, who lives in Turkey, and she was telling us how she gets to work. Um, and so we're talking about transportation with, with the first question being, how do you get 
to work. Where if you work, um, you know, out of your home. So Yuki, I know that you work primarily at home, right? Uh, sometimes uh, at home. Uh, I work sometimes at home and sometimes at the school. Oh, okay. So how um, do you college? W when you have to go there, how do you get there? Uh, usually, I use a met metro. Uh, met okay. Uh, mo metro in Moscow is uh, quite uh, developed. Uh, mm -hmm. There are many lines, so we can we can get to our destination. Mm-hmm. Uh, using by metro and changing metro <laughs> sometimes maybe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so you... um, although although um, it, um, uh, there are many crush um, uh, there are many people in in the metro uh, um, um, crowded. Crowded. <laughs> metro is crowded usually, yeah. uh, especially in the in the morning and uh, evening. Uh, there are many. Um, there are full. Uh, the um, uh, metro is filled uh, by people, um, so it is not not so comfortable. <laughs> not very uh, pleasant. Go, <laughs> not, not so <laughs> pleasant to go by metro. Yeah. yeah, and okay. there are uh, uh, noise is very big, and you can speak to to your friend in the metro. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing here. <laughs> in oh. the, in it's the very metro. loud. It's yeah, very you can loud. Say, you can say it's loud, and you can't really hear very yes, well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, may, many many of many of trains many of, many of metro train. Yeah. Many of metro trains are made in the time of Soviet Union. Oh, it's so quite they're old. Yeah. And 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 most most big problem is rail. The rail is also made made be, um, yeah, very absolutely. old. There is very old uh, yeah. roads, uh, rails. So um, it's not like the the. The fast trains or the bullet yes. trains or something like that. Yeah. Yes. It's noisy. Very friction. Uh huh. A lot of friction. A lot of friction. Uh -huh. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, 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 as if you uh, go by truck. <laughs> big, Bumpy too, big, maybe. Big, yes. Sound noise is noise is very loud. There uh -huh. is loud noise and the friction is quite big, so <laughs> it's it, it as if you you go by tra truck. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. But so all the same, you can go. You can get to the, your destination by metro. You can still get there. Okay. Yes. Sa get there. Saiban. Hello, teacher. Hi there. How do you get to work? Or school, or wherever you need to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, when I was in my country, uh, mm -hmm. I have a car. But recently, when I moved to USA, right now, hmm. uh, I don't have any car. I uh, go to my university by mm -hmm. bus. We have a bus every day. We use uh -huh. this bus. And we don't pay because the university, this bus is belong to university. I mean, the university owns this bus. Oh, where? Okay, so now I'm curious. What country are you from? Okay, um, I am from Kurdistan region, from uh, Iraq. It's north part of oh. Iraq, a uh -huh. small region. And I moved to uh, uni, uh, United States because. Uh, I am a student. I want to study English, and uh, I want to uh, study my master this August. Okay. And where do you, are you living in the United States? I live in Sacramento, in Pennsylvania, teacher. Oh, in Pennsylvania. Okay. Nice, right. teacher. Is it cold there right now? Yes, it's <laughs> it's a snow and it's very cold outside. I think yeah. the temperature maybe it's. Uh, it's uh, minus ten or or night uh, 
Bravery Celsius. Celsius, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, good that you get a bus then that the the mm. university you uh, oh. Uh, actually, I, I rent uh, apartment. I share house uh, with my friend. It's uh -huh. near the university, and okay. uh, there are many bus. Uh, is exist uh, in in the downtown. I mean, in, in the Scranton, we can use this bus uh, and with uh, without pay uh, oh, okay. money to to the yeah. bus. Uh, because um, of your student. Yes, uh, that okay. for student for elder. People uh -huh. for uh, for uh, for uh, I mean uh, pupil I mean the the they are or or a little boy or, or uh -huh. I mean for for children oh. uh, for children yeah. is it's free it is free teacher oh, okay. it's slow in here that's yes uh -huh. I have some um, role in here so <laughs> yes teacher but but no. I'm uh, I was very uh, Interest. Uh, I mean, as uh, when I came to her, I didn't see any taxi uh, mm. uh, on the street. They, as my friends say, you should uh, call uh, to taxi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to taxi driver to get a taxi. Yes, yeah, yeah. The uh, <coughs> some even cities in the United States don't have much of a taxi service. Certainly, if you go to a big city like New York, lots yes. of taxis. But you know, I'm looking up uh, pictures. You said Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yes, teacher. Is that, is that what it looks like, right there? Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you might not have uh, so many taxis available. <laughs> yeah. More this the Scranton. Buses. This the Scranton, the electric city. Uh -huh. This uh, this uh, labor. It's located. Uh, I mean, they put it on the top of the uh, building in downtown. Oh, okay. Mm, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Good. Interesting. Do you walk around much too, or do you just yes. use the bus? Yes, I, I walk. Uh, I I walk uh, because I am new, so uh -huh. I I am very curious to to discover any any places sure. in Scranton. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. Nice. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, Raphael, how about you? How do you get to work? I think I know, but tell me. <laughs> oh, well, I have my own car, but I usually go to work by bus because, well, you know, there's, our traffic here is awful. We don't have, we have so many cars in the streets, and we don't have... Uh, uh, this the the roads the doesn't uh, how can I say doesn't uh, attend doesn't handle can't handle with the number of cars. Mm -hmm. uh, there are too many crowded. Uh, so so I usually go to so driving a car here it's becoming day after day a stressful experience. So. Yeah. I so to avoid this kind of things, I usually go to to buy to work by bus, mm -hmm. you know, so I can, so I can sleep a while when before getting to, to, to my job and yeah, and that's it. I I usually go by bus. Um, I I, I I I use my only use my car on weekends maybe. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm curious, um, the bus that you take, so I'm looking at this picture that I put in the screen share, it shows, is, is there a special bus lane? So if you're taking the bus, does the bus driver get to go past all the cars? Yes, there, there are some uh, specific lines, so only allowed to bus. So they, they can't. Only buses can travel in this line, so, okay. mm -hmm. uh, so it's forbidden to cars go. It's... I think it helps a little, but it, it's only an alternative to the traffic. Uh, uh, but I don't think they it, it could solve the problem of public transportation. Uh, unfortunately, our authorities do, doesn't invest enough in other alternatives to, to transportation. Um, we, we At least here in Rio, we don't have enough... Uh, Metros, you know, we, mm. they could invest more in in a huge, huge kind of transportation like metros and trains, and they are they are too overcrowded. Um, 
and it's hard. It's it's become difficult day, day after day. Yeah, yeah. So do you do you find that when you take the bus, is it is it faster or is it just less stressful? It's just less stressful because uh, uh, there are some. How can I say? Uh, because just in specific roads, they have the specific lines to allow to bus. But in the in the, in the rest, uh, the buses and cars uh, have to have the same track to go to go through. So oh, okay. uh, at the end, I think the 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 result is the same. You know, they they it it doesn't it doesn't have the 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 huge difference between going mm -hmm. by bus. And just, uh, I think it's just for save money because uh, uh, the gas in here it's very expensive. There's yeah. another factor we have to choose by going by bus. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so I'm wondering, um, do you get like a bus pass, like maybe like a monthly bus pass or something like that to save money, or do you just yeah. pay cash every time you go? No, I have a bus pass. Uh, mm -hmm. I can I can reload it uh, every month. So mm -hmm. I, they they give a little discount to to who for who uses this pass. But yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's just for for doesn't uh, taking money every every time every day to before sure. going to the bus just for avoiding using money. Yeah, we say uh, for convenience. Yes, yes, for convenience. Yeah. yeah, to make it to make it easy. Yeah. Okay. Good. Kervan, how about you? Um, how do you get to your pharmacy? Yeah, I uh, usually get my pharmacy by my car. Mm -hmm. By car. By car, okay. By car, and uh, if there was uh, oh. an option to use. Uh, uh, bus or uh, subway, I would choose uh -huh. uh, them because uh, driving every day is uh, really tiring. Mm. How long does it take you to get to work? Uh, nowadays it takes uh, uh, 20 minutes, uh, but mm. uh, one bad. years ago yeah. uh, it was uh, 40 minutes because uh, they, they, they built a new uh, uh, line. Uh huh. New lane. And uh, uh, I am lucky. There is no traffic jam uh, between my house and my job. Mm. Uh, so you don't have to stop. You just can keep driving. Yeah. Oh, okay. Driving. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, that's uh, nice. Yeah. When I go to my village, mm -hmm. uh, it takes. Uh, 14, 14 minutes uh, by car. But mm. I, you, if I will be there uh, more than ten days, I usually go my uh, by car mm -hmm. because it's uh, more enjoyable. I think it's tiring, but uh, I can stop anywhere I want. Sure. When I use uh, airplane, it is mm, short time. Yeah. But you can't see anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you can't can't enjoy the scenery and yeah, yeah, yeah. stop places. Last week I went uh, uh, to Asian part in Istanbul. I used uh, subway oh. under the under the sea. Uh huh. And it uh, it's uh, boiled. Uh, uh, How was it? It was uh, too short. <laughs> <laughs> too fast, huh? <laughs> yeah, too fast. It takes uh, uh, four minutes to reach uh, uh, to uh, cross the Bosporus. Uh, and when I was uh, uh, at the university, I uh, used ferry. It uh, oh, uh -huh. almost takes uh, uh, th uh, thirty minutes. It uh -huh. is. Uh, but using ferry is uh, was uh, very exciting because you can see beautiful scene and yeah, uh, I like going on the ferry. Yes, yeah. 
Yeah, that's you can true. drink a cup of Turkish tea. Uh -huh. You can feed sea gull, seagulls. Seagulls, uh huh. The birds. Simit. You know simit? No. What is that? It is a kind of Turkish. Uh, no, you know bread. it, Lisa. Oh, what is it? <laughs> it, it Tell is, me. Uh, we have talked bread. about it. Yeah. Well, how do you spell it? <laughs> S I M I T. Simit. Okay, let me find a picture to remind myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a pretzel. Kind of. Kind yeah. of what? Like a pretzel. Do you know what a pretzel is? No. It's a, it's a kind of a bread. It, it almost looks like a bagel, actually. A pretzel looks like this. Like that. So it's similar. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Simit. Yeah. It has sesame seeds on it. Yummy. You can make a sandwich with it. We feed the no. uh, usually. It's a bread. It is similar bread, but it is delicious than bread. Yummy. Yeah. It looks like a. Like that right there, that kind looks like a bagel. To, yeah. to us, these are the bagels. They're a little bit uh, uh, thicker, maybe. But it is, it is sweet, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, simit uh, is, is not simit. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, simit is not sweet. No. Bagels aren't sweet necessarily either. They're just bread. Certain kind of bread. Gluten. Okay, so you feed that to the seagulls and yeah. drink Turkish they, tea. And seeing their show is really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's fun. I like going on the ferry. It's not cheap, though. <laughs> it's, here it's expensive to go. No, it's cheap in Istanbul. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay uh, Graciela, how do you get to places? In Florida, do you, do you have to use the car? I know you said you're going to get your driver's license. Yes. Uh, in Florida, I I need to go to learn to drive car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, because he is too far for many places. Yeah, it's not but so easy to drive. I... Yes, no, no, no. But... When I go to a small or sometimes for for my gym, mm -hmm. I I stay I I get bus. Mm -hmm. Take the bus. I I take the bus. Mm -hmm. I take the bus. But I love uh, walk mm -hmm. to walk. Mm -hmm. uh, every day I go and back for. My gym walk, walk or run. You walk or it. you run, yeah. What about um uh, bikes? Yeah. Do, do many people ride their bikes in Jacksonville? Because the weather is pretty good. The weather is nice. Yeah, yeah, but I I don't see many people who ride the bike. I think he, uh, next to on the beach maybe, but in my neighborhood I can't see. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, uh, sometimes I how to say ride by car. Yeah, you go by car or you ride with, with take the car. Yes, with my friends. With your friends, yeah. For yes, for go to church, mall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the car is. Pretty important. Yes, here in Jacksonville, car is really important because bus, uh, the bus no good for you go to places too far because yeah. you need to go to a bus stop mm -hmm. for change bus. Right, that's how it is in a lot of towns. Um, 
So I'm I'm at a street view now of Jacksonville, Florida. So this is what it looks like in the downtown area. But like Gracia was saying, is it's true for a lot of uh, cities, um, not the biggest cities, but especially some like mid-sized cities. They have um, they do have buses and a little you know some taxis, but the buses. It can be difficult to get where you need to go because you might have to transfer, and the buses don't come that often, so you can take a long time trying to get somewhere <laughs> with a bus. So most people uh, drive a car. Yes, he's yeah. Uh, he in Jacksonville don't have a subway or metro right. or yeah. a train. Right. A tax. You can't see. It. You can contact you see mm -hmm. <laughs> because many people here don't say uh, take a tax. Yeah, but uh, the traffic uh, have their hours harsh. Four o'clock to yeah, seven you can, o'clock. Yeah, right. So you can call you a have taxi. Have many cars on the streets. No, no, I, I can't see tax taxis here. Tax. Oh, you don't see any taxis. Yes, I don't oh, see. Oh, okay, you don't see. Sometimes, um, yeah, sometimes you don't see them, but you might be able to call one and they come and actually get you. But yeah, it's not like New York where that you can just you know see taxis driving all around or something. Yeah. No, but when I live in. QS, QS, QS have many car, many tax. Yeah, because that's a tourist place. Lots of tourists. Right? Graciela? Key West, they had a lot of tourists there. It's been. Well, your microphone's so, Oh, it's so <laughs> like, like a, Yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah, you cut out a little bit. Okay, Andrea. Oh, okay. Yes. Hello. Hi there. How are you? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Andrea. How how do you get around in Spain when you need to go to work or something? Do you take a car? Do you walk? Do you ride your bike? No, I work in a town near my city. But uh -huh. there is no public transport to ride, so I use my car. What do maybe you have to because get on, like a freeway or like a highway or something to go to another place? I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. How do you have to leave your town and go to another town? Yes. Oh, and so you have to drive on a freeway? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh huh. How yes, long? Yes, but it's. No, to me, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's near. It's near to my it's, city. It's pretty close. Oh, okay. What? Tell yeah. me. Your, tell me your city again. I'm gonna um, look it up. Yeah, Oviedo. Oviedo. Okay, let me find it. Okay. And so, in your town, um, are there many? Um, Many people that uh, use bikes or walking or buses or what do people or does everybody own a car? No, we don't use bi bicycles because because the streets are very steep. Wherever oh. you want to go, you have to climb a steep street. You have to climb. So the city is, oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, it's okay. not adapted for cycling. Uh huh. But yeah, yeah, there are many buses and taxis. Uh huh. We don't have uh, metro. Uh huh. It's a small city. Yeah. You can go walking whenever you want. Oh, okay. Is this it that I'm looking at right here? Yeah. Yeah. It's the middle of the city. That's the middle. Yeah. yeah. Where are the hills? Ah, uh, to the left. Okay. To the left. We have a big mountain. Oh, very really? close to my city. Oh, those mm, are kind of cool. Yeah, it's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I always like it's near this. Wow, near it looks Disney. nice. It's some nice big streets and very open. It looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty. 
Is the cleanest city in Europe? It looks really clean. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. It looks pretty clean. Yeah. Nice apartment the, buildings and. Yeah. Huh. They wash the they wash the um, the streets oh, with okay. water and with with water every night. Wow. Just yeah. in in all over the town or in certain areas. You know, over the town. Wow. Yeah. But you don't work here. You work in another town. Yeah, in a little town. Yeah. A small the, town. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. And what's the weather like for you guys right now? Now it's cold. Does it snow <laughs> I there? Think, no, yet, but I think it's going to snow. Mm -hmm. Maybe in a few, day, in a few oh, days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, when we're looking at the street view here, we can definitely see taxis and some, yeah. some buses. And the traffic doesn't look too bad, is it? No. 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 No, no, no. It's a little, a little bit bad in the center of the city, but. Uh huh. You can drive well yeah. if you want to, to uh -huh. drive your car. I, uh, I always drive my car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are there any bike lanes? Do people ride their bikes at all? No, in Oviedo, no. No. In uh -huh. Gijón, yes. It's uh, another city close to Oviedo. Uh -huh. And there, people, people used to ride their bicycles. Mm uh hmm. -huh. Because mm -hmm. it's on near the sea, so they don't have uh, steep streets in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's like. There like, is the hill. Yeah, look at the hill. Yeah, I see. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> like a little mountain over there. We have a. I, I don't know how to say it. Yeah. What? Like El Cristo de Brasil. I don't know how to say it. Uh, yeah. Like in Rio. Yeah, we the have one, Jesus a small one, like this. Statue of Jesus? Yes. Oh, okay. On the hill? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, a big statue of Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, does it look the same with the hands going out, like in Rio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I saw a picture the other day, I guess, uh, uh, Rafael, the, the, the Jesus Christ, the, the big statue in Rio got hit by lightning. Her hand, or his hand, sorry, <laughs> his hand. <laughs> yes. Got hit by and lightning. It, and in the head, and also in the head. Oh, really? The head too? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I saw the picture, it looked wild. Hit it directly. Okay, Amparo, how about you? Do you use a car to get around, or how do you get around your town? Well, uh, most of the time I am at home, but uh, when I have to go, I try to make all my 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 errands to uh, in the mall. So I I just need to walk five minutes uh -huh. to get there. So I don't need a, a car. Uh huh. Uh, but if if I have to go to my brother house or uh, that he live and at the other uh, side of the city. Well, uh, we we go in my sister or my dad's car. Yeah. Uh, I Is it generally I don't use bus. Um, if I nobody here can uh, give me the <laughs> the, <laughs> the right, uh, I <laughs> I just uh, call a taxi. Uh huh. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Just I don't know even. What are the roads that the the the, the bus that oh, goes yeah. around my 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 neighborhood? Uh huh. I don't have any idea what are the the track that they follow. Mm -hmm. mm. So is it pretty common to call a taxi then to get a taxi? E well, people generally the bus is the the most common. But uh, because I don't know where is the 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 way that they take <laughs> you don't know just, the routes. <laughs> I, yes, so the the safety for safety for me is that they just call to the 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 transportation uh, taxi. Uh 
Yeah. And then, yes, they, they, they send the, the car to my house and then uh -huh. the, I call again and, and they they gave me the number, uh, no, the the plates, the, um, the, the plate address, the car, yeah. the, the cell phone, and that is, is safety for me. So that's why I took okay. it. <laughs> Okay, what about and walking? Does it is it pretty easy to walk around and get get to where you yes, need to go? Yeah, because um well in in my neighborhood, for example, uh, the the mall is just uh, five minutes from my house. Yeah, for me it's easy. You you can find there the banks, the the pharmacies. The, so yeah, on the other side, uh, I I can go to the church. I go to church. The hospital is a in the just near my house, so I don't need too much. To yeah, move from my, the south of the city to the other side, no, not too much. Yeah, it's pretty big, the city. Yeah, yes, it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking at it. I can't seem to get the street view, but um, uh, is there a lot of traffic in in the city? Yes, in the in the middle of the city. Wow, in the downtown, it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, even now, for example, the uh, the mayor uh, established uh, the metro way, but it's, um, uh, buses like uh, two two buses together. Uh huh. Um, in 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 that way, they eliminate some kind of routes uh, of the uh, the buses that uh, oh. they were. Usually they don't respect the 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 lane that they have to follow, and so that it was a messy in the in the downtown because they 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 use the the lane that is supposed to be for the small car. Mm -hmm. So that's why they eliminate some of the of the the routes and the the yeah. buses. Um, well, uh, things are in the Rush hour, mm -hmm. are, are rush hour, a little, yeah. yes, are a little difficult in yeah. the in the downtown. But uh, well, people have to leave uh, 15 minutes before if you want to arrive on time. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the Wait. cyclo the the cyclo way. Uh huh. Is, uh, there is new route around the city, not in every place, but. Um, is something that is just starting. Uh huh. And so it's, it's something like that they a hobby, not a, is a way to to go to to your to job. Work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, but do you think that uh, the the government do they want to promote that maybe as a way to yes, commute? Even yeah. Our, it were our president. <laughs> Yeah. To go on on bike uh, from oh. some cities, yes, <laughs> to to show that. But uh, yeah, it's something that they they have to work yet a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. What's what's the altitude? Do you know what the altitude is? How high above sea level are you guys? And well, you know? uh, I uh, my city is on yeah. the level uh, sea level. Oh, it is. Yes, but uh, Kido is uh, almost. Wait, uh, where are you? Guayaquil. Oh yeah, I forgot. I thought you were in Quito. No. Oh, Guayaquil. Okay. Hold on. Looking at different pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, still really big. Um. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys have a river going through there. Yes, Guayas is the name of the river. Guayas, okay. Mm -hmm. So you have bridges to go across and everything. Yes, uh, it will, uh, the bridge the, is joined with the, the next town. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's not the same, it's not Guayaquil, it's a different yes, going it's out of the middle town. Way. Oh, okay. the, the, the big bus that you see there, the, the blue one. Uh-huh. That yeah. one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. But that they have the the exclusive uh, trace the track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. The taxis are cute. <laughs> it's like an old style taxi. Yeah, that is the old uh, old one. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. That's cute. 
Cool. Okay, Atia, are you there? Your microphone's muted, so I have to turn off. You have to unmute the microphone. There you go. There you go. Hi. A little bit of echo. Where are you Where from, Atia? From Spain. Oh, oh what, what city? city? I'm from Madrid. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. How do, How you, do get you get to work? To work? Uh, I usually get to work by, by bus. Um, sometimes when it's uh, quite early in the morning, I go by taxi. I have to pick up a, a taxi. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A white, um, taxi, a white here? taxi here? No, it's, uh, uh, they are black. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, in the in the city where I live, I live in Manchester. They are they are black. In in Madrid, yes, they are white. Oh, and you live oh, in Manchester you live now. In Manchester now. Yes, I am. In England. In England. Yeah, yes, in the UK. Oh, okay, oh, okay. What do you do there? What do you do there? I'm working and trying to learn English. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. Nice. What kind of what job kind do you have there? there? I'm working in a fo uh, fast food restaurant. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm How is it? How is it? It's not bad. So, and learning new skills and practicing English. Yeah. That's yeah. the main thing. Is it a lot is different a lot than different Madrid, Madrid for you? Madrid for you? Yeah, yeah. It's quite different. Quite different. Weather is different. Uh, even the food, people ah. different as well. Yeah, the food yeah, is the really food different. Is really different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's not it's known, not to, known be, uh, to be uh, the best the cuisine. Best how, cuisine. How, how do you like it? No, like it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because they <laughs> they just they just like that uh, eating the street or uh, walking as a f fast food. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> how long have you how been there? How long have you been there? And I'm here for one year. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be going back to Spain? Back to Spain? Hopefully, hopefully in the future, but mm -hmm. not at the moment. Because of the job, of the situation? job situation? Yeah, yeah, the job situation in Spain is uh, quite bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How did you get, did to, you Manchester? get to Manchester? How did you uh, choose? Well, Manchester. Manchester. Uh, I choose it by the by the job situation actually because I think Manchester is a is an industrial city and don't know. I thought it was was easy to find a job to to find out a job and mm -hmm. also I like football so here Manchester quite famous United, for that. United? Yeah. No, no, Manchester City. <laughs> oh, oh. What is it? What Let's is see. it? Let's see. No, Man Manchester City is uh, is the uh, the team which goes oh, against oh. Uh, Man United. Oh, okay, oh, the, okay. Rival the rival team. team. Yeah, the rival. Thank you. Uh, this one uh, here. This one here. This guy. This guy. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You like them you more like than them more um, than. Real Madrid or Barcelona? No, 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 no. <laughs> my, my first team is, is, is Real Madrid. <laughs> okay, okay. But here, here in England, I support Man United. Oh, okay. Sorry, Man, okay. Man City, Man City. Man <laughs> City. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Thanks, um, Mohammed. Right, I see um, you came Mohammed, in. Mohammed, I see you came in. Hi, Mohammed. Yes, Hi, Mohammed. Yes. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Atir, I'm going to mute you because I thank you. There's the echo. Mohammed, ha, um, how do you get to work? I normally get to work with, through my, by using my own vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, because here, this is uh, to use public transport, this is very, it takes a lot of time mm. and very public ones. Uh, mm -hmm. The way of life here is a little bit luxurious. You can have your own vehicle. Uh, yeah. Petrol is cheap. Oh uh, yeah. You have highways. You can run for one one hundred twenty kilometer per hour. Wow. This is well, very nice. You can reach your work very very easily. Mohammed, well, where use, where do you live? I'm living in Kuwait. Oh Kuwait. Okay. Yes. So yeah, well well with gas being cheap and then you have nice um, highways that are not crowded. 
uh, it, it's a little bit crowded early morning but uh, by the by the speed of the the way the highway itself you can you can go easily it's mm -hmm. 120 the yeah. speed limit it's mm -hmm. very good uh, very good to drive on 120 is very nice for me yeah yeah so do you live in Kuwait City no I'm living in uh, Salmiya so this is seaside seaside Yes. Nice. And what? Um, just, just zoom in. To, zoom in. The, in the sharp corner, yes. In the cor by is, Kuwait Bay. Yes. Oh, okay. So, what is your temperature right now? How's the weather for you there? To, to these days, it's a little bit cold because of, uh, I think, it's a, some some kind of cold wave coming from. Uh, Europe, uh -huh. but nor normally here in Kuwait, the temperature is very high. Yes, uh, right. <laughs> this is why people don't does not walk on people don't walk in, in the streets. Uh -huh. You will find it's it's uh, up up it's an uh, unordinary situation to see people walking on the streets. Yeah. Uh, here the temperature normally in uh, in in the summer uh, ranges from. 40 it reaches up to 60 degrees Celsius mm. 60 degrees Celsius yes in I some mean, in some days it's not normal days oh. but in the normal days it's 45 yeah 48 something like this wow wow that's hard to stay uh, cool in that weather but you have here uh, ACs and uh, yeah. this, uh, <laughs> units yes pools yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. So, um, how long does it take you to get to your work from your house? Uh, from thirty minutes, if I'm lucky, uh -huh. to forty minutes, uh, fifty minutes. It's up to the the the, the status of the street, the walk, the ways. Uh -huh. uh, for example, today it was very harsh. Mm. Uh, a lot of accidents all the way. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, one of the biggest accidents I see in. It was horrible one, uh, a, oh, big no. uh, a big sedan, a big a uh, big sedan. Uh, mm -hmm. All the all the airbags are opened. Oh my gosh! Wow. It, it, yeah, it was a horrible accident. Was that um, because of a lot of traffic, or were they going just no, fast? No, because be or? because some people driving very fast. Mm. It's, it's the speed limit on the on the roads. It's 120. Yeah. But some people driving 160, 180. Wow! It's, uh, yeah, it's horrible. Is it? Was it on this one right here, the five, the fifth ring road, maybe? Fifth, in fifth ring road, sixth ring road. You have uh, speed limit up to one twenty. Uh huh. But fourth and third and second and first. Yeah. Uh, it, it's eighty kilometers per hour. Mm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes. Oh, there's the American Embassy right there. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. America have a big camp here. It's called Arivjan. This is yeah. one of the biggest camps in in Gulf area. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, it looks pretty big there. Yes, it it's very for Army. Populated? How how many people live here? In Kuwait. Yeah. It's about three, three millions. Three million, okay. Yes, one million is Kuwait, uh, are Kuwaitis and the remaining are expats. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Interesting. I've never been to the Middle East, so I don't know much personally about it. <laughs> For, I don't have any first hand experience. You need to try. <laughs> yeah. I have to come when it's not so hot, though. So now would be good. <laughs> yes, these days is very good. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not used to the heat. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, I can guys. suggest. I can yeah. suggest for you yeah. to visit uh, Sharm el Sheikh and Hergada. This uh -huh. is very nice places to visit if you nice. are if you like sea and see sea creatures. Yeah, you sure. Can visit this place very nice. Yeah. Now, um, are the beaches? Um, do people go to the beach for fun? And I mean, are the beaches 
in, in Kuwait, yes, yeah, but, for swimming uh, but or... you cannot use it all. You cannot all use it all the year because the temperature up is very high. Uh, yeah, something like eight months in the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And is the is the water warm or cool or? You you can go swimming after in in the night time. Oh. Okay. Uh, daytime it's very tough. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, you have to protect yourself. Okay, yeah, thanks. Okay, Thank guys. You. Yeah, we have just a couple more minutes. Um, does anybody have anything else they want to share with us about transportation or things that are happening in their countries around that? Nihan, did you have something? Transportation is really important. It's really important, yes. Yes, yes. It's, it's actually, yeah, it's in a kind of an amazing thing because... Um, you know, I don't know about the, you guys have heard of uh, peak oil, you know, the idea that maybe our oil supplies are declining and so, you know, in 50 years, 100 years, will we be able to use our cars, you know, like what are we going to use to um, power our lifestyles that we are accustomed to. But Nihan, you brought up a point in the chat that I was thought was interesting. What if a government wants to encourage people to use bikes, but people don't want to? <laughs> I would leave the country. You would leave the country? Yeah. If you had to, if they tried to make you use a bike or other types of transportation? Yes, absolutely. And oh, I, <laughs> oh, yeah. He used to be Our a cyclist. Sport too. guy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, I'm close to my 14. And, uh, Are you uh, kidding me? My dad is 63 years old. He rides 100 miles in the morning <laughs> on his bike. You can't. You Mine can't use age. Good. You can't use age as an excuse, right, Rafael? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> what kind of excuse can I use? <laughs> uh, personal preference. You can just say you have a personal preference. <laughs> okay, yeah. but cycling is excellent, but uh, for sport, not for transportation. Not, well, we have a really long um, bicycle road yeah. way uh, really? on our yeah. coast. coast. On the coast, and, yeah. Yeah, it's um, I think more than a hundred uh, kilometers. Yeah. And it's really healthy, I know, but um, I don't know to go to work uh, just with a bike. It's Seems impractical. Of, no, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. What about you, Rafael? Would you like to ride a bike to work if you could? Yes, yes, I already have a bike, but unfortunately we don't have our, um, we're not allowed to use bikes in, in some roads, so, oh. unfortunately. Huh, motorcycles are pretty um, popular in Brazil, aren't they? Oh, it's dangerous. Yes. Yeah, so dangerous, yeah. And for traffic, for cars, especially. Right, yeah. Does anybody in this class ride a motorcycle? I know that um, Mario from France, he, he oh, rides yeah. a motorcycle. <laughs> yes. Does anybody here ride a motorcycle? No. no. Andrea, no. Kervan, no. Graciela, no. No. <laughs> I, I don't ride a bicycle. <laughs> I'm don't afraid. Ride a bike or a motorcycle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. The problem with the bikes, um, you know, we in the last class we talked about the bikes being popular in Portland, but you know, one of the things that you have to think about are the cars, like Nihon said, because uh, they it can be very dangerous. You know, it's a nice idea, it's a good idea to ride your bike to work or just to, around the town for exercise or for fun, but you do have to pay attention to the traffic and um, it, you know, getting hit by a car can be very dangerous. That's why in the article uh, they were saying that all around the world people um, want bike lanes. So I yeah. think I think that's why in Denmark um, it's very popular because they have like big lanes where you can ride your bike um, in Denmark. I'm gonna look that up. But um, yes, 
Yeah. Denmark, China. Oh, China. Uh, yeah, sure. China too. Uh huh. Uh, in South, when I live in Brazil. Yeah. Santa Catarina, South. Okay. Some uh, another town. I live in a city Jaraguá do Sul. Uh huh. The city, many people go go to work, ride the bicycle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is very in interesting because many people have a car, yeah. but no driving car. Oh. Go job, you ride a bicycle. Wow, cool. Yeah, I, yes, think, yes. I think it's, you know, one of the things is um, it becomes like a lifestyle. So certain cities, they have like a certain amount of people who you get excited about it, and then more and more people get excited about it, and, you know, and it becomes more like, hey, I want to do that too. And... So, but yeah, like Amparo is saying, it really depends on, you know, if your city is prepared, if it's a good place. Like, obviously, in Kuwait, you might die if you had to ride your bike, you know. You know, you know what, Lisa? What? My brother uh, just uh, go to Netherlands, and yeah. first thing, when he came back, first thing he said, you know what, they have lots of bicycle uh, lines, and yeah. uh, and he saw one thing, it was r really interesting, mm -hmm. uh, what was for red light or stop light, oh, uh -huh. uh, a, gr a group of uh, cyclists just trying to pass the way, and the other group uh, just the stop light waiting <laughs> for the other group, like the wow. cars, r really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. Traffic. Like, a, like a highway, uh huh. <laughs> like traffic jams of bicyclists for sure. Yes. Yeah. Well, I just realized that I just went three minutes over my time, so I'm sorry about that. But um, thanks for uh, participating in the class, you guys. It's really fun to hear how you guys live and how you guys do things. Um, for me, it's fun, and I hope it's fun for you to also practice uh, expressing yourself in English about this topic. I think it's a fun topic and um, we didn't get to talk a lot about it but everybody got a chance to talk a little bit. So thanks for coming to class. Thank See you guys well. next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. A Verbling um, member and all you need to do is click on the join class button and then you will be able to join the class at any time. If you make a reservation for a class, then you can come in the first two minutes of the class and um, redeem it or get it, use it. Um, and then if you come a little bit later, then the join class will be up there for everybody to join. And so you can come at any time. Um, it's nice if you can come to a beginning of a class, then you get the full hour. But if you can't make it to the beginning, then you can always just come and check out the class, see what's going on, and then jump in to the class um, at any time. Usually that works just fine. You might need to wait a little bit to talk or let other people read first, depending on the type of class that it is. But um, you're always welcome to join the classes. Okay. And so welcome back also to Yuki, my voice. <coughs> And Atir, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Atir, Hi. where are you from? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Atir? Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Nihan, you're saying... A pity to Hamid. He's a working guy now, so he needs to get some sleep. <laughs> Nihad, what what time do you start your work? Oh, it depends. Uh, I was oh. just um, flexible. About it. Flexible. Yes. Yes. No cool. No cool. Going on. Going on. Echo. Echo. Yeah, there is yeah, an echo. There is an echo. <laughs> <laughs> a really long a really echo. Long echo. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Let's see, if everybody kind of mutes themselves, maybe we'll figure out where it's coming from. Now it's okay? Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Um, um, <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Nihon, how do you get to work? How do you work? get to work? <laughs> oh, can I speak? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh, how do I...
I, uh, get to work. Oh yeah, uh, by my car. By my car. But I have to. Okay. Put that headphones away because I hear my voice. What time is it in the United States? Uh, my time right now is three in the afternoon, so three p.m. Three p.m. And for you, it's 1 a.m., right? 1 a.m., yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what time do you have to get up in the morning? Maybe 10 or 9. Oh, okay, not, not too sure. bad. Not too early. Good. Okay, guys, welcome to this hour's class. Um, some of you were in last hour's class in which we um, read an article about a new apartment complex, a new co apartment building in Portland, Oregon on the west coast of the United States. And the special thing that um, they were talking about this building was that it's creating a lot of um, parking spaces for bikes. So Portland, Oregon is known as the most bike friendly city here in the United States because so many people use their bikes um, not just to ride around, but to commute to work, back and forth from their house to their job. And um, there are lots of awareness, we could say. Uh, there's a consciousness around wanting to use your bike or preferring to use your bike whenever you can instead of your car. Um, so it, it is possible probably in a city like Portland to not use a car or not need a car and you could just use your bike. Um, that is true for some other cities, some other major cities in the United States, but most places in the US you probably still will need a car even if you mostly use your bike. Um, so in this hour I was proposing that we have a conversation about uh, bike transportation, but also transportation in general in your town, in your cities, and in your countries, and then what are your personal preferences and personal opinions about this idea of um, using different types of transportation, kind of like the pros and the cons of all these different ones, which uh, Nihon was bringing up in the chat. Uh, we didn't get to talk about it at all, but maybe we can talk about that um, in this hour. So welcome back, Amparo and Graciela and Kervan and Nihan, and welcome, uh, Rafael. If anybody is out there watching and you want to join the class, you do need to be... I think it, okay. it's okay now. I muted a tear. Oh, maybe not. Okay, go ahead. Mm, I usually uh, go to work uh, with my car. But uh, when I was broke, or my boss just didn't want to give me the uh, gas, um, and uh, I just use uh, transportations uh, like ferry. You know it. Oh yes, I take the ferry a lot here in Washington. Yes, yeah, I like it. Yeah. But when they are prohibit mm -hmm. uh, smoking uh, on ferry, uh, mm -hmm. I. I Actually, I don't like uh, to use it. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes bus. Uh, everything. If mm -hmm. I'm in a hurry, I use taxi. But oh. most of all, my car. Because uh, in the mm, during the day, sometimes I have to go somewhere, and uh -huh. uh, I need my car. But before uh, this job, uh, I used to. Mm, uh, uh, what? What can I call the company? Just arrange you a bus, uh, and they picked all of the employees. What yeah. What's its name? Um, usually we say like the company.